You are live. Hi, I'm Sandy Sandler and I'm here with Jill and we are going to show you how to make some bows with Bodabra and also um, some flowers. So um, if any of you aren't familiar with Bodabra, the Bodabra actually has two springs underneath here. So it's automatically going to adjust to whatever I put into it, which is wonderful because you can pile it up. And the mini Bodabra works exactly the same way as the big Bodabra, but it's mini. So what I wanted to do is just in case you're not familiar with the Bodabra, um, I'm going to take my Bodabra bow wire. The cool thing about the wire is it's really, really strong, but you can cut it with scissors, which I love. And it is a wire, it's not a cord. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is fold my Bodabra bow wire in half and just lay it down into my Bodabra. I'm just tucking the ends underneath so they stay out of my way. Now I'm gonna take um, a piece of my silver, it's about a two and a half inch wide, and I'm gonna dovetail the ends of my silver wire. And I dovetail by going from the fold out to the corner, and that gives me the pretty dovetailed end. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Gail and Penny say hello. Hi, <laughs> thanks you guys for joining me. And I'm gonna fold it in half, and actually, oh, and now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And Hi, I'm Julie. just gonna dovetail the end. Hi Julie, thank you for being here. And you guys, I was just a creative, creativization, whatever. They've changed the name. It used to be the Hobby International Association trade show. Now, it, then it was CHA and now it's creativation, which is really weird. But it was cool because they had all the new products. I tried to do a, a Facebook Live from there, but the Wi-Fi was really bad. So um, I'm just going to be showing you some stuff over the next couple weeks that'll be fun. So now I'm just gonna take my tails and lay those down into my Bodabra. We're just making, we're starting with a really simple bow, then we're gonna make some really cool flowers. So now I'm just gonna take, oh, probably about three yards. I don't ever measure exact, I just figure it out. And because my tails are already measured, I don't have to worry about them. I'm just gonna kind of clean my space up here. So now I'm just going to twist this and put it in. And then I'm gonna fold back. I'm gonna twist and push that into my Bodabra. I'm gonna fold and twist and put it into my Bodabra. And um, fold and twist. And as you can see, this is all being held down because of the springs in your Bodabra bow maker. And thanks for the Facebook likes. Oh, thank you guys. Oh, and you know what? Okay, now I'm gonna fold and twist. And now I'm gonna fold back and twist it. And I'm just gonna keep making loops just like this. So we're gonna make a really just very, very simple bow. And now I'm gonna make another loop. And if I want, this, oh, twist it. And then if I want the little floral loop in the middle, I'm just going to make a smaller loop and just scrunch that down into my Bodabra. And again, the Bodabra is holding everything for me. I'm now going to take my Bodabra wand and just scrunch everything down into my Bodabra. Now, the reason I tucked my Bodabra bow wire into my Bodabra is now I have a slip knot. So I'm just going to hold my bow down, pull my um, knot all the way really tight, bring it out, I'm gonna separate the ends. And you can see, this isn't magic. I'm not doing anything special. It's just having the Bodabra as a third hand. So now I'm gonna bring it around to the back. I'm gonna tie it off. And let's tie a knot. And I'm gonna just leave that if I wanna tie it on. And now I'm going to shape my bow. So I'm gonna shape my bow by bringing my tails down. Just gonna put my fingers in my loops and just separate the loops. And there you have a really, really simple but pretty bow. So 
How do you like it? Very pretty. One other really cool thing I saw, I mean, I saw a lot of stuff at the show, but one thing I saw that I love, it's a brand new, she just launched it two days ago. It's an app called D Stash, the letter D and then Stash, S-T-A-S-H. And it's only for iPhone right now, but she's going to do an Android. And what it is, is something where if you have craft supplies around your house that you're just not going to use, you can take a picture and post it on DStash and then sell it. And I think she takes a 10% commission. It's a really cool idea for all of us hoarders that have so much stuff, but we really don't need it all. So you can trade off and find something that you're looking for that another crafter might have. So I just thought I'd share that with you. It's not an affiliate thing or anything. I just really liked her. It's a really sweet young lady. She's a teacher and she came up with this for the crafting district. So I'd love for you guys to try it and let me know what you think. So now I'm going to take my mini Bodabra. And oh my God, I'm so excited because I love how these flowers turn out. And even more than, oh, you know what? Even more, I'm gonna use my silver Bodabra bow wire. Even more than loving how the flowers turn out, I love how easy they are. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my little floral pick I'm gonna lay my Bodabra bow wire, I'm gonna fold it in half and lay this into my mini Bodabra. Just tuck the ends underneath. Then I'm gonna take my um, pick, I think, and just leave that right in the middle. Um, and now I've sort of loosely folded um, this in half and I want the wired part at the top of my bow. And so now I'm just gonna, it's not quite even. I have a little bit, so it's not 100% folded in half. And this is actually about a five inch wide, five and a half inch wide ribbon. So now I'm just gonna scrunch this in and kind of keep it going. Ruth says she uses her Bodabra to hold the deco mesh when she's making ruffles for wreaths. Oh, wow. Well, it works really well for that, Ruth. Thanks for sharing that. And now I, all I'm doing here is just feeding my wire. I mean my wire, my, my um, ribbon. And this is sort of a sheer ribbon, but it's a wired. Um, and I'm gonna show you a bunch of different bows that you can, bows, not bows, I mean flowers, that you can make using the bow dabber. And you can see the mini's got a lot of stuff that I'm kind of cramming into it. And then I'm just going to push one more in there. Then I'm just going to fold this over here and lay it into my mini. And I'm definitely going to take my mini wand and scrunch my flower down in there. Then I'm going to take my Bodabra bow wire and I'm going to pull it through my, my um, slip knot. Hold everything down really tight and pull it really, really tight while it's still in the Bodabra. Then I'm going to separate the ends. I'm going to bring it around to the back and I'm going to tie a knot just to hold it really secure. And it's just there. And now I'm going to actually, whoops, sorry shape my flower. Uh oh, I think I missed a... So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to totally cheat. That should have been tucked into the mini and I guess I didn't tuck it tight enough. So here's where we cheat. We're just going to take the wire and bring it around. Oops. But we're going to make some more that are going to be pretty much like this so I won't have to cheat on those. Okay, so now I'm just going to take my wired ribbon and one more time I'm going to actually cheat again. Okay, you guys, I just totally messed this up. And now I need a glue dot. I thought I had some out here, but I would actually take a glue dot and glue that right there. And see what a pretty flower? That is Isn't that pretty? pretty? Okay, so next... Um, I'm going to make a, now this one is a little bit different because basically what 
we did here was take a piece of scrapbook paper. Jill, what's this? This is um, a 12 by 12 um, mulberry. Mulberry. Okay. It's a mulberry scrap. And all that we did here was just cut it across and then cut the little petals. So I'm going to take my bow dabber bow wire, fold it in half, and lay it into my mini bow dabber. And I'm just going to tuck the ends underneath. Now I'm going to take my um, it's just like a four inch wide wired ribbon and I'm just going to scrunch it in and this time I'm just going to kind of fold down. So it's kind of like going to be my, my almost the outside of my flower. And then I'm going to take my petals and I'm going to just scrunch these in. And as I'm doing it, I'm kind of doing it one way and then coming back and going the other way. You can kind of see what I'm doing here. Gail said, that is so cool. I didn't think of making flowers in the Bodafra. Oh, now I'm like going to be blown away by what Gail comes up with, <laughs> with how to make them so they're absolutely beautiful. Because these are just me playing um, with Jill's help. <laughs> okay. okay, so now I'm just going to tuck, scrunch it all in there. And I'm going to now pull my Bodabra bow wire, pull it through my slip knot, separate the ends. And now it's really thick because of how much paper I have. So I'm going to pull it really tight. And then now what I'm going to do is kind of lift my flower up, take the ends and bring them underneath here. Whoops, where's my other end? And here I'm actually going to just twist it around and twist this side around. Oops. Would be easier with a glue dot. If I had a glue dot, I could do it much easier. And I'm just going to just point. Oh, I see them. Okay, actually, I'm going to do this with a glue dot. So now I'm going to just take my glue dot and whoops. Now I'm going to just put a glue dot right here and just kind of push that down on there. And so now I'm going to turn this into a really pretty flower. It's much easier with a glue dot. Um, and it's so funny because I always have so much trouble with glue dots. Um, but I found out that all this time I've been using them wrong. So you're not allowed to put your fingers on them. You take them off and then just... For any of the, like for glue dots, for zots, for any of them, you don't want to touch them because they lose their stickiness. And the heat of your finger rubbing on it will let them come off, I think, supposedly. <laughs> so there we go. So now that's just going to go there. So now I'm just going to kind of shape this out. And you have a really pretty little flower. Isn't that fun? And simple. If I can do it, it's simple. So now... I have taken a um, a glittered, it's kind of a glittered organza, and on this one, I'm just going to fold it in half, and I'm going to take my Bodabra, let me get a bigger piece of silver, take my Bodabra bow wire, fold it in half, cut it, lay it down into my Bodabra, my mini Bodabra. Then I'm, all I'm doing here is just folding in half. And I'm going to put the non-wired part here. I'm just going to scrunch it in. I guess, Gail, we can do um, beads in the center. I'll, I'll do one with a bead in um, right now, actually. And then here, I can take... Oh, this is pretty. It's a pre-wired bead that I'll just put right there. And... And obviously there's no right or wrong way to do this. So I would highly suggest if you guys come up with any cool ideas, please share them with me on, um, on Facebook or email me. I'd love to see pictures and how you did them. So now I'm just gonna separate the ends, bring it around to the back. And um, here on this one, I actually tied it onto a leaf but I don't have a leaf out right now. So basically, because I was at Creativate, 
CHA, the new CHA. Um, I didn't have quite enough time to get everything prepared today because I didn't get home till really late. So I'm gonna just put that around there. And then this is really cool. I'm just gonna pull this down a little bit. And all I'm doing here is just shaping my bow around my little center. And I'm gonna take a glue dot and just put that right here. These are nice because they're clear so you don't really see the glue dot at all. And I think I need to put more heat on that. And pull it off. Oh goodness. Well, I thought I had the glue dot issue mastered, but maybe not quite. And isn't that pretty? A really pretty little flower. That is really pretty. So now I'm gonna do um, another one where, let's see, I think we can use this. So this one I'm gonna do, and what I love about this is they're pretty much just scrunchy bows. And you can tie for this one. Oh goodness, what a mess I'm making. Okay, so obviously we know I'm not perfect. <laughs> Heck, far from it. So <laughs> I mess up too, a lot. Vicky said, yes, that was a pretty flower. Oh, thank you, Vicky. And simple, huh? Okay, so now I'm gonna take my mini bodabra and I'm just gonna fold my bodabra bow wire and lay it down into the mini and tuck the ends underneath. And I'm not tucking them onto anything, I'm just tucking them under. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is just um, scrunched in, and again, I'm just putting as little as possible on this side. And so as I scrunch it in, and then I'm just gonna make a little loop this way, just really small on the, on the top just because I kind of want to add another little dimension to this bow. And as you can see, I'm making bigger loops on this side and smaller on that side. So, and I'm just gonna do one more. And then now I'm gonna put my, my um, green pick in there. And I'm gonna do one more, or actually I think I'm gonna do two more loops. So just go like this. And then now I'm gonna take it back and just scrunch the rest oops, into my mini bodabra. And as you can see, I'm putting quite a bit into my mini bodabra, so, I mean, but it's not really a problem because I have my wand to scrunch everything down. And then now just to add a little bit of color Take the pink and just add the pink here. And then actually what I'm gonna do is take this here. Um, and I'm actually gonna glue this on after. So I'm gonna finish this up and scrunch everything down. And take the ends, bring them through. Pull everything really tight while it's still in the mini bodabra. And separate the ends. Bring it around to the back. Tie a knot. Tie another knot. And then I'm just going to shape um, my bow. Flower. Uh, well, yeah, my flower. <laughs> I always say bow, it comes so naturally. So and I think on this one, I'm just going to clip this down just a little tiny bit. Just because I think it'll look better if it's sort of it. There we go. I like that better. And I'm going to take another glue dot. See, Gail, she's already using your suggestion. Oh, my God. I can't wait to see what Gail comes up with. Because Gail is so creative. Um, and I mean, I'll tell you, there were so many really cool things that I saw at the show. A couple of them, though, it was kind of frustrating because they don't have them available in the United States yet. 
So it's kind of like, oh, I'd love to try it, but I can't tell you guys where you can go buy it. So that would be frustrating. <laughs> it was frustrating for me. But um, anyway, so there you go. A cute little flower. And of course, I'll just clip my... And if you want, you could always take some floral tape and um, just go all the way up. Oh, I need to clip this. Gail says, thanks, you make me blush. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I only say it like I know it. <laughs> so anyway, isn't that cute and so simple? Oh, and what I was gonna say is you can take the floral tape and just wrap it around it if you wanna make it a little bit more solid and more like a flower. Um, and then now I'm gonna actually make my scrunchy bow flower, which was kind of cool. So for this one, um, and I wanna thank all you guys that have joined in but aren't, oh, you like my Bodabra hat. <laughs> it's got Bodabra, isn't that awesome? Anyway, so I think I like my Bodabra hat. Well, I'm gonna probably wear it a lot. Um, anyway, so now I'm gonna take my scrunchy ribbon and I'm gonna take my Bodabra bow wire and fold it in half and I'm gonna lay my Bodabra bow wire into my Bodabra. And I'm gonna take a, let's see, piece of my scrunch ribbon and I have no idea how long this is. It's probably, I don't know, what would you say, 20 inches? Yeah. And now I'm just, oh, almost forgot. I have to take my, um, I'm gonna take some of my silver also. And I'm gonna just cut the silver maybe about a third off of my silver. So, you know what, it'll be easier to do yeah. it if I fold it in half. And I'm just gonna, and I'm not really worrying if it's perfect. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna take my silver. Hi Samuel, thanks for joining us. Hi Samuel. I love it when you guys join and also when you have conversations with each other, it's a really cool because I love the whole community that we have. So now I'm gonna just take um, my two, my, my scrunchy red and my scrunchy silver and I'm just gonna scrunch it. I mean, I really do have a bigger vocabulary than scrunch, but it works. <laughs> so, and this is our Bodabra scrunchy ribbon. And obviously I named it scrunchy ribbon because it scrunches. And that's all I'm doing is just, but I'm trying to keep it together here, scrunching it into the Bodabra, or mini Bodabra. And this is cool because you can do this in the mini really simple um, and because of the springs it's really letting everything so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of scrunch in my red and what I'm doing here is I'm just folding over my red that's all I'm doing I'm scrunching it so you have sort of a little circle and now I'm just gonna take my wand and push everything into my mini bodabra now the reason I folded it in half is so now I have a slip knot I'm gonna pull everything really tight with the slip knot. I'm gonna separate the ends. I'm gonna bring it around the back. And I could tie it onto a flower pick or a floral pick with leaves, but I'm not gonna do that quite now, just to save a little bit of time. And um, this I would tie onto a pick or something. And then now I'm gonna just Pull my silver in here, and I'm gonna just take a glue dot. Oops. Okay, Oop, let me cut a piece off here. And when I was at Creativation, I actually went to the glue dot booth because I'm like, I have so much trouble, and it was really fun because he had trouble too. <laughs> So the person that has the product has the same trouble I am. I'm, I don't feel so bad. So now I'm just going to push and put that down there, pull it, and I'm just going to take my glue dot and I think, where'd my glue dot go? Looks like it's pushed up. Oh, great. Okay. See, here we go. Okay. So 
have the glue dot and bring this around. Oh, I need another glue dot. So Penny just asked, what are the best glue dots to buy? <laughs> I'm using glue dots, but honestly, Zots. I, I asked a lot of people, and I have a lot of stuff that I'm experimenting with, but I really, the Zots at the trade show, I went to like every glue dot box booth, and I, I have to say I really liked the Zots. And then the other thing about um, that I learned, though, that I had not known is that you can't put your fingers. Okay, there we go. Isn't that pretty? So you have like kind of a little rose. That's really Scrunchy pretty. flower. And I think I'll just scrunch that and just kind of, there you go. And so now you can make a whole bouquet of them if you wanted. Just which, in time for Valentine's Day. That's, that's what I was just going to say, just in time for Valentine's Day. And next week we are going to do Valentine's Day gifts and projects. And then I'm hoping, cross my fingers, and all of you guys cross your fingers, I'm, I'm going to be at Doris, which they're the biggest craft distributor in I think probably one of the biggest in the world. They're huge. And I'm working out to try to do my Facebook Live from their showroom, which will be so much fun. So we'll do one more. Um, Should we next Monday? No, not next Monday. It's the Monday after. Next Monday, we're doing Valentine's Day. So we would be talking Monday, What's what would that be? Monday the 5th of February. So I'm crossing my fingers because the problem is that they're closed. So even if I can't do it there, I'm going to grab a whole bunch of stuff from their showroom and take it back to my hotel room and we'll, we'll do it there. So we're still going to have fun regardless. So I'm going to take my Bodab, my um, Bodabra bow wire, fold it in half and lay it into my mini. Then I'm going to take my, um, my pick here, just lay that down. And now for my lace bow, I'm just going to kind of fold it um, just so that it's maybe a third of the way there. And I'm just going to scrunch the fold side down. And again, you can see I'm really keeping it very close to the top of the um, bow. So now I'm just going to scrunch this all in. But I mean, who knew? It was so, so simple to make flowers. And what's really cool is depending on the ribbon you use, the flowers all look different and as you saw we can use paper and I'll work and probably do some kind of a flower for next week for Valentine's Day so and then we'll do other projects if you guys have any questions please let me know so where are you guys watching from and here we go we're just gonna scrunch this a little bit more in and actually, I think that's probably maybe just a little bit more. Probably going to be a big enough flower. And this is just like a five inch wide lace that I just thought was so pretty and would make a really pretty flower. So now I'll take my uh oh slip knot, pull it through, hold my flower down. Janet is from South Alabama. Oh, wow. Vicki is watching from North Alabama. <laughs> oh, my God. How funny. And now I'm just going to bring this around to the back. Tie it. And tie another knot. Oops. And... Southwest suburb of Chicago from Julie. Oh, wow. Okay. We're Southwest. That would be where, Julie? What would be the name of the town? Um, glue dot. Okay, got my glue dot. Here we go again. Let's see how we do. <laughs> this is the glue dot adventure series. Um, this one doesn't. Does this one have? No, this one I think I already used. Okay. Oh, here we go. So. Susan says, and I get to help with... My future daughter-in-law with wedding bows from Picton, Ontario. Oh, wow. How fun. Okay. Another product before I finish another product that I saw at, um, at create CHA at the trade at the um, industry trade shop is called the bow teak. 
I think it's B. Oh, she's going to kill me for not remembering the right name because Deanna invented it and she's such a sweetheart. It's B-O-W-T-K, I believe. And it is like a, it's a circular um, plastic molded and it has a little handle and you can put dry or silk flowers and then your bodabra bows and it makes a gorgeous bouquet. It's like a do-it-yourself bouquet or centerpiece. So I promise you, anybody that says, tell me about the bouquet holder, I'll put a link after. It'll probably be later tonight. I'll put a link up for her website for where you can buy it because it's really cool, especially if you're doing your own wedding. And Julie says, I love this flower idea, and it's from Evergreen Park, Chicago. Oh, okay. I know where Evergreen Park is. I used to spend a lot of time in Chicago. In fact, if you know those, um, oh, let me see what I have here. Um, I'm actually going to cut this here. And if you know um, the two in Chicago, the two round buildings, which I forget what they're called, but anybody who lives in Chicago, or they're pretty iconic. I used to, I, when I lived there, worked there, I used to live in one of those buildings. So now I'm going to just put my glue dot here and make it really warm so it comes off the plastic. I think I'm going to make it really warm so it comes off the plastic. Susan says thanks. Oh, of course. What I love and what's really cool is all these businesses I'm sharing. Sorry, guys, but I just think it's really cool that the ones that I'm sharing, they're women-owned businesses, which is kind of cool. Okay, there you go. Isn't that cute? That's great. And so simple. The hardest part is me getting to make the glue dots work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, oh my gosh, time goes by so fast. So I wanna thank you guys so much for joining in. Please share this video with your friends and come back next week when we do Valentine's Day gifts and projects decor. Um, at 4 p.m. Uh, next Monday. So we'll see you then. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, it's 8 p.m. East Coast time.